Aloha Stampers, I'm Cheryl Hamilton, and today I'm excited to show you a Give It a Whirl card. It's an interactive card that we have a die set for that makes it really simple to make these kind of cards where you just twirl the little um, circle thing here and you get to see different images. It's really fun. And um, this one I'm gonna show you with a stamp set called Banner Year. I decided to do it with Give It a Whirl because it has small images and stuff. And I'm sure I'll do it for um, Christmas and Thanksgiving also. But I just wanted to show you this one today. So stay tuned and I'll show you how easy it is to make this. My favorite part about this card I'm going to show you is really the wheel that spins around. I just think that's really fun. And um, I guess um, the reason that I came up with this is because I needed to do a Halloween card and I did have some paper um, that's really cute actually. It is from Cute Halloween and I like Halloween. I don't really do much with it since my kids are grown up, but now I have grandkids and I think my grandson's going to like this card. And I kind of like the cutesy stuff like this. I don't know how you guys are. And the really, the colors, I love these different colors in here. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, black and white. <laughs> That's pretty too. So um, there's lots you can do with this. Um, for the card I'm going to make now, this one was, um, I put a flirty flamingo base and I I had a piece of this 6x6 designer series paper and I used all the, this has a um, cutout with the give it a whirl dies and it cuts out this little thing for the wheel and then it has um, stitching around here. And I had a little bit left over and so I just made sure I used it. So that was cute here and a little black piece there. Um, here's the stamp set that, um, that I thought was perfect for this because it's got really small images that would fit in the circle. If you use this stamp set, you'd be able to do different holidays also, such as Christmas and just the thinking of you card and possibly Thanksgiving. So that would be cute. It's a real useful set. Here's, here's a peek at these Give It A Whirl dies. Now I have done about three of these so far and haven't even dipped into it really. Um, Cause I, I just realized, look at my card. I'm like, oh, I wanted to do something around the edge. So I got out my layering circles dies and did this. And then later on, guess what I found in my package um, is, this one that's perfect for that so there's a lot look here's a heart cut out instead of the little circle i've usually used this bigger cut out um you know so you spin it around and you have um instead of just a circle here you have a little bit bigger thing but we could do it with a heart that'd be fun this um little hole at the bottom shows you where exactly to put your die because it has a hole in the other um in the rectangle you know so you can you're not going to really mess up you can do it here you could even do a couple of them you know like have one at the bottom or whatever it's kind of endless um, clouds look at I didn't even see this one so you stay tuned for me to I'm gonna do a ton of these um, eventually because I think it, that they're really fun so I've chosen this pretty designer series paper from cute Halloween and this time instead of the circle I cut this shape I don't know what to call that and um, so this you know this cuts out like this it has that little marker right there in the middle that's a little, it's a little hole. And that shows you where to put the next die um, so that it fits really perfectly. Um, 
let me see i cut uh, the wheel out of basic white i cut another circle just because um my friend robin messenheimer was over a month ago and she we were playing around with this and she showed me um how to do this and it makes the wheel turn a little bit better so i'll show you that um and then this is my leftover piece and so we're just going to cut it up and use it because i always have too many scraps and i don't want to waste it it's really cute so what i'm going to do first is stamp the images so the cute halloween suite is in the mini holiday catalog page 50 and 51 and the normally i choose my colors by just going to the design series paper I'm gonna use and see underneath they've listed five colors that coordinate. It's just so simple and they do go really well together. Flirty Flamingo, Pumpkin Pie, Old Olive, Highland Heather, and Basic Black. So here's my wheel. Hmm. I, I decided to do a card this time with Heather, which would have gone with this just as well but um so this my card base is eight and a half by five and a half scored down the middle at four and a quarter I'll just go ahead and get that ready and now i can stamp this you can see on here that it outlines um so that you can see where to stamp your images. It's really helpful. And let me just grab a bat. I guess I should do Highland Heather because that's what I told you guys I was gonna do the same thing <laughs> that had in the Design Series paper. So here's Highland Heather, a little bat. There, cute, cute. Um, what's next? We'll do a pumpkin if I can find it. Here it is. A pumpkin with pumpkin pie. And it had these two little leaves. I'm going to use old olive. If I can find it. Here it is. And memento for the jack-o'-lantern face and then they have this black marker that you guys need to order a couple of because it's it's only like three dollars i think and it has a fine tip and a brush end and it's one zero 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 eight two it's a great thing to get so i'm just going to make a little stem there you go pumpkin's done and let me see, I could either do a spider web, maybe I'll do both. I'll do a spider web at a side, and then I'll do boo. Let's do boo with flirty flamingo. That's cute. Okay, so that part's done, I think. And 
What do I do after doing that? I'm gonna, um, I have this little circle here that's gonna help it um, pop off the card a bit so that it's um, easier to spin. And the circle, this was another one of those dies in this set. I'm just gonna set it on, in the middle here, turn it over, use a take your pick tool. Here it is. And just make a little hole in it. Um, they've got brads that are called round and square brads. So you can use white or black. I'll just grab a white one. Just to show you this too, I could have put the brad through this part too, but I'm just, I've hidden it. So I'm just putting it on these two circles. And um, I'm gonna add dim two dimensionals here and that just helps it go away from the paper a little bit so it turns better. Okay. Next, what you can do is see how this one had an arrow that was embossed? You could take it over and do that right now. Here's the, uh, I'll just show you how I would do that. I would put my designer series paper down where I think it should go and then, um, you know, just center it and then place, it has the arrows right there, just place it right there and probably open it up and then run it through just like that. But for this one, I want to um, I want to cut out some arrows and see what they look like, just to show you different options. So anyway, that's the way you make those little embossed arrows. Um, but I'm not going to do that on this. <laughs> Let me see. I will um, have to think how to do it. You, I'm gonna pop it up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get this position in the right place, the little circle, you know, my circle. So I'll put it where you can see the outline there. I'm putting it right in my window. And then I'm holding it. I'm going to, before I let the dimensionals go down, I'm making sure I'm pretty happy with where it is. I am, so I'm sticking it down. So now this part is on there, okay? And then for the last, for my Design series paper, it you can't just glue it down, you have to pop it up also. And you wanna make sure that you stay away from the wheel. The wheel has to be free to spin. So I'm gonna just stick these in random places all over and I did this, um, made a template so that um, I make sure my dimensionals are not in the way. Where's that white? Let me grab, here's an old template. So here, see how I, I can see where the hole is? So I know that's exactly where it's gonna be. Actually, that one's too close. I'm gonna take that one off. I could put a little narrow one if I want to, but I don't need to that much here. And then um, I'm gonna put a little, a little one up there. Okay. Okay, before you really set it down, make sure you're happy with it. Yeah, I think that's straight. So then, um, isn't that cute? And it just goes round like this. So I've tried something different. I cut out these two itty bitty arrows from Flirty Flamingo. 
Now, the challenge with this is not to get glue everywhere. So I'm gonna try using fine tip glue pen. And the thing about this that's very important is that the minute you are done using it, you need to put this back on. Because I'm sure many of you have had this thing dry up. Let me see if I can do this. Hmm, I shouldn't do it right over my card just in case. Okay, I think it's on there. I can hardly see it. So I'm just going to put it down where I want it. About there. This take your pick tool is the best, you know, because for handling things like this. So there you go. It'll stick on there. And um, I think that's the best way to do it because I didn't get glue anywhere. To finish off my car, I've cut a piece of basic white, four inches by five and a quarter, just to go on the inside. And I'm gonna use Gorgeous Grape to put Happy Haunting. And let's do a little spider web again, because that's cute. Spider web and memento. And then just for fun, I'll use this, um, my marker, and make a little spider hanging from there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, Oh, and I told you guys, I almost forgot about this. I was going to use the rest of my Design Series paper because I tend to waste it. So I just cut, th this was a leftover piece. I'm just going to glue it on the inside. It's probably five and a quarter. And then this was whatever the piece was. It looks like two and a quarter maybe. But it's kind of just whatever you have left over. And I had a little, another little strip that I'm going to use on the bottom of this. We do have the cutest designer series papers, I have to say. Okay, isn't that cute? I like it. You could definitely put something else here, but I think it's fine as is. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today, and I really hope you get these Give It A Whirl dies. Um, actually, if you order, um, the Give It A Whirl dies are something like $37, oh yeah, $39, and if you order the um, Banner Year, then that one is $17. It'll put you up to $56, which gives you a free celebration item through September 30th. So you only have a few more days for that. And so be sure and take advantage of that. Thanks a lot for watching. Aloha.